All right. When I'm doing Pinterest, what should be my balance of products versus general links? How else do you leverage Pinterest? What is Tailwind? And this is from Rebecca Learning and Lattes. Oh, Rebecca, that's a lot. <laughs> That's like a whole course in itself because, yes, I do have a, a course on Pinterest. So basic things here, uh, products versus general links. So I never pin anyone else's product. I only pin my own products. I will pin other people's blog posts or their images as long as their blog post is not just one big sales ad. If there's information, I don't care if they mention their product, but if there's information that is good for a teacher, then I'll pin that. I have a blog, so I pin my own blog post. So I pretty much, for the most part, probably pin 90% of my stuff and 10% of other people's stuff at this point. If you don't have a blog, then you're going to need to be, you know, sliding in some information besides just sales, sales, sales. If you don't have a blog, keep providing that information, whether it's articles, educational articles, or other people's blog posts, provide those. Yeah, leveraging Pinterest, I just use it consistently, daily, pinning daily. You know, like Facebook and Instagram, it's short term. It's there, it's gone. If they see it, they see it. Pinterest isn't really like that. It's a whole, it's not a social media. It's basically a search engine. It's a whole different ball game um, than social media. So when you pin something, it's there. It's there forever, unfortunately, because some of my pins are just downright ugly. And I don't want them there, but they resurface. But they're there. They last forever. You do want to pin consistently, that meaning daily. Tailwind is a, is a pin scheduler that you can use. You set it up, and then it sends out your pins at the day and time that you want.